Good morning, brothers and sisters. It is Friday. I think it's around a quarter of eight in the morning. I've been up since five. <laughs> I think the Holy Spirit woke me up today and I had to have some amazing time with the Lord this morning. Nothing like not being rushed where you're not in a hurry to get anywhere. Just you and God, your beautiful wife and baby, pets, peaceful, quiet in the room. Um, just started worshiping God this morning and um, the Holy Spirit just started to uh, refresh our souls and uh, encourage me and us today. And um, I just wanted to encourage everybody out there and uh, for whatever reason, the Lord has it uh, where I haven't did any videos of lately, and I can only do when the Lord leads me to do. So, um, but again, it's all about Him. So, um, everything's going really amazing. Lots of good things are going on in life. But I just wanted to um, share my heart with you this morning and encourage you, and uh, wherever you're at in your life today, uh, for us believers. God never leaves you, never forsakes us. He's always with us. He's never surprised. He allows things to happen. He causes things to happen. And when you're a child of God, you can always know for sure that the Lord is with us and that wherever you are in your journey with the Lord today, know that he's right there with you. And he, he yearns to, to be you to for you to be close with him you know and um so different times and different seasons for different people are going on in their lives you know um for me the, i went through lots of persecution for long periods of time lots of suffering for the lord lots of persecution uh, and overflowing through it by the spirit of god and his grace and power by the power of his might um and different challenges for me today, you know, having a baby on the way and um, getting ready for the baby and moving and all kinds of different things and um, the busyness of work and things of life. Um, so um, God is stretching me in this season and um, and some of you he is too. And sometimes he, he allows um, whatever things that happen in your life uh, to get your attention or to have you grow or to, for whatever his reasons may be, they're always good and perfect. So, um, but back to the basics, you know, back to the basics, you know. Um, I want to just read Psalms 23 uh, to you and just share that because it's, it's for us believers. You know, Jesus Christ is our bishop of our souls. He's our shepherd. He's our Lord. He is the Lord, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the most high God, but he's our Lord. He's our savior. He's our king, our father in heaven. We are his children, a royal priesthood, kings and queens, children of the most high God. We're favored, we're blessed. We have eternal life with him and in him. We are in him and he is in us. And nothing can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Praise God. Praise the Lord. God is so, so, so good. And he is faithful, faithful and true. He is. The Lord is our shepherd and we shall not want. He makes us lie down in green pastures. He leads us by still waters. He refreshes our soul. He leads us in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil, for he is with us. His rod and staff, they comfort us. He prepares a table in the presence of our enemies. He anoints our heads with oil. Our cup overfloweth. Surely, goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives, and we the children of God, God's people, we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever, forever and ever 
and ever <laughs> and ever. God is so good. You know, um, he's just so amazing. I mean, I, I, I can't begin to tell you just uh, this whole busyness and time of my life is so many great things. He's so faithful in it all, um, ordering every step, um, just He's been he's faithful in every situation that we find ourselves in. He he is there. I, I call upon him and he's there. You know? Um, whether I spend lots of time or a little time with him, he's here. Um He knows that this has been a a, a tough a tough challenge for me because I desire so much to work for the Lord and to do his will and to share his heart and to encourage and to to teach as he leads, as the spirit of God leads. And um, I, I work a job, you know, I'm busy. I'm a busy person working a job, providing for our family as he provides for us, and our family, um, a husband to a beautiful wife. I have pets, I have friends. Uh, um, you know, my life's a daily ministry, you know, but in it all, like he, even when we're running, we're running on fumes at times, I can call upon his word, he's there. You know, he, he's faithful to sustain me all this time walking in a narrow path, walking in the paths of righteousness, have challenges and attacks by the enemy come up against us, walk right through it in those, in the valleys, right? Though we walk in the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil, for he is with us, his rod and staff, they comfort us. You know, the Lord anoints us, you know? He has protected us and guarded us, keep us safe and still walking on the narrow path, you know, not wavering, not going backwards, not once, you know, and that's, that's, that's by the grace of God. That's, that's the power of the Holy Spirit. That's, that's, that's God's beauty and faithfulness that if you hold on to him and trust in him and, and, and follow him, no matter where you're going, he's going to, he's going to lead you every step of the way. And sometimes you you know, the seasons look like this or that, or they're just different, you know what I mean? Different challenges, different times, different suffering, different persecutions, um, times of uh, just overflowing and all different things, you know, but I've seen it. I've seen it, you know? I've seen the Lord's faithfulness, just powerful things that he's, he's done that only he can do it, just that we can just call upon his name, he's there. We can speak his word and stand on it He's the, his word never returns void. You know, when you really depend upon the Lord, there's nothing that can happen to you. There's lots of things that can happen, but nothing's going to take you away from God. Nothing's going to cause you to backslide. Nothing. When you put God first and God is number one in your heart and you're depending upon him and following him and committed to him, he's committed to you. He is committed to you. <clears throat> He's faithful every step of the way. It's so beauty that you can let go of your life, trust in Christ, want only him and follow him. And no matter what's going on in your life, he's going to get you through it. He's going to get you through it. Might not be the way that you want to go. Might be this way. Whatever way it is for, that he chooses, he will lead you through it. Whether right through it, over it, around it. You know, the enemy tries to lay his traps around us. He exposes the devil, his lies, his devices, his schemes, his, his traps, his, his demons. They're defeated. The devil's defeated and we have the victory in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Most High God. He's our conquering King. He's our victorious warrior. He's our shepherd and he leads us. He leads us and guides us. <laughs> In all truth by his spirit, the Holy Spirit of God. Praise the Lord. God is so good. Get back to the basics though, guys. I, for me, um, I'm only saying this because I could just say that for personally, I'd say um, almost going on three years now. Just walking really close with the Lord. You know, there's been times where I spend, you know, hours with the Lord, you know. Um, maybe in then sometimes I'm spending... 15 minutes with the Lord, you know, it's, I, I've been, I've spent lots of times with the Lord over the last, um, two to three years almost. And, um, for me, I can just tell you just 
because I'm so dependent upon him and his word and spending time in his word and prayer. You know, like I missed probably maybe four days of spending time with the Lord, maybe in about two and a half years in his word, you know, and that's a lot. And I, you know, recently I told a testimony, I think in the last time we had a live chat of what happened after just being so busy and just see when, when we aren't, when we aren't just the, in his word or in his in intimacy with him every day, you run out like that. You can't depend upon your flesh. Your flesh, there's nothing good in it. You know, we need to be, to be dependent upon Christ in us, the hope of glory. Christ in us, the spirit of God in us that have intimacy daily in his word, daily in prayer and communication with him. Without him, guys, I'm nothing. And without him, I could not be walking this narrow path. I could not be walking into victory. I could not be a good husband, a good leader, a good man, a good servant, a good worker, a good friend. I'm nothing without him. You know, it's all about Jesus. And I fought in the busyness of all this time. I've been fighting to press through in his word, fighting to make sure I spend time. Even if it wasn't the amount of time that I like to spend with him, doesn't matter. He knows I've been fighting to do that in these new challenges of life, you know, and uh, he's faithful. But as Jesus says that I'm the vine and you are the branches. If you abide in me, if you abide in me, there's an if, a very important if. If you abide in Jesus, he'll abide in you. You'll bear much fruit. But guess what? Apart from him, you, me, and everybody can do nothing. You ain't bearing no good fruit without the Ruach HaKadosh, without the Spirit of God, without being connected to the vine, Jesus Christ, without keeping God first and seeking his heart. Because it's in that prayer closet, it's in the times of being in his word, in the time of loving on him and worshiping him, where he fills us and overflows through us and causes us to overcome evil with good. Causes us to win every battle in Christ. Because we are in a war. You know, we're in a war, a fight. The devil, his demons are all after us. They want to attack us every second that they can. But the devil's defeated. We have the victory in Christ Jesus. We have the Spirit of God, the greater one that's inside of us, than he that is in the world. But we, need, we must abide in the Lord. We must stay intimate with God. We got to stay in his word every single day. Every day we should be in his word. Every day in prayer. You know, the Bible says in... And uh, let's go to it. Joshua, Joshua 1 8, I think it is. Praise God. I love these. I miss all of these, too. The Spirit of God is going to start to move. I, I know it. We're moving into our new place on the, on the 15th. Um, God is just, it's amazing. I have a, I already have a, a bedroom that we're turning into a, a prayer closet, study room with the word. Oh, it's going to be great with the Lord and just in, in the word every day. Do new videos as the Lord leads whenever he does. Um, just focus more. Um, I may be like street preaching outside. Like I know the spirit of God is going to going to begin to move even more in, in and through us. Um, and he got me through this season of busyness and all this stuff that we've been going through. Um and I just know, I just know, I know the Lord. I know he's going to be moving. And it's a desire of my heart to have him move in and through our lives. So we want to work for the Lord. We want to set our affections on things above, not on things of this earth. You know, it's okay to enjoy life and things of life, but Christ got to be first. Hit your heart, your life has to be centered in Christ. He is the rock that we stand on. He is our firm foundation. He is our life. He is our breath. He is uh, our everything. We depend upon the mind of Christ. We depend upon his spirit. We depend upon him. We love him. Here's what the word says. Joshua 1, chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law. Law means Torah. Torah means instructions. Okay? God left instructions uh, throughout the Old Testament as he leaves instructions now to us too. Um, through the Holy Spirit of God. He writes his Torah, his instructions, whatever they may be on his heart. Now we're, we're, led, we're led by the Spirit of God. Those that are sons of God are those that are led by the Spirit of God. We live by the law of the Spirit of God. This book of the law shall not depart of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Oof. 
the book of the law, the, the instructions, God's instructions should not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, day and night, that now that thou mayest do and observe to do according to all that is written. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. And true success is intimacy with Christ, is a close relationship with Christ. Nothing else matters, because what profits a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Success is a, a good relationship in Christ, a mature faith, a close relationship with the Lord, one that walks in truth, one that walks in victory, prospering in faith. Prospering in love, prospering in deeds, abiding in him. Let him abide in you and bearing much fruit. Praise God. This goes with Psalms 1. Psalms 1, one of my favorite. One of my favorite Psalms. Praise God. Blessed is the man, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the what? The law of the Lord. What's the law? The instructions of the Lord. His delight are in the instructions of the Lord. Praise God. And in his law doeth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the waters who bringeth forth his, his fruit in his season. His leaves shall not wither. And whatsoever he do, he shall prosper. But the godly are not so. They are like the chaff, which are the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor the sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. And then, if you go to uh, the verse I just quoted, you know, my, one of my favorite chapters in the Bible, we must abide in God's word. If we abide in him and he abides in us, we'll bear much fruit. If you love God, you'll abide in him. If God is first, you'll spend time with God every day. Again, sometimes things pop up, you know, but you just shouldn't stop you from talking to the Lord throughout the day. But if you're abiding in God, you're walking in love. If you're not abiding in God and God is not first, you're just a sounding cymbal, a sounding brass. You're running on fumes and you will fall. John 15, 1. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. Every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Praise God. <laughs> now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except if you abide in me. Abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine. More can ye, more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. But apart from me, you and I and everybody can bear no good fruit. The Spirit of God helps us to bear forth his fruit. What is his fruit? Let's look at his fruit. Galatians 5.22. Let's look at Holy Spirit's fruit. This is what happens when we abide in Christ. But the fruit of the Spirit of, of but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, and against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. And then I like Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 through 3. Set your affections on the things above, not on the things of this earth. Keep your mind on Christ. 
pray without ceasing. Your life is in Christ, guys. He is the air that we breathe. He is life and life abundantly. He is life. We're alive in Christ. The life that we now live, we live by faith of the Son of God. Our lives are in Christ. We can't live without Him. We're alive in Him. Our old life is dead. We're crucified with Christ, but nevertheless we live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And now the life that I live, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Hallelujah. Get back to the basics. You know, I just, uh, the Holy Spirit just started to move and I just uh, started to minister to uh, uh, someone I really love and care about through text messaging and um I just like, you know, the Lord is moving and we just got to get back to the basics, guys. I just want to encourage you. Now, this is uh, just to let you know that wherever you are, God loves you. Come unto him, all ye that are heavy laden, and he will give you rest. You need rest. I need rest. Who is our rest? How do we rest? In Christ. Abiding in him. Seeking him, searching for him, spending time with him in his word, yielding to him. All ye that are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Take my yoke, my yoke is easy and my burdens are light. The Lord wants to give you rest. He loves you. It's okay, wherever you're at today, he loves you. You're his children, the ones that place their trust in Jesus Christ. You're his children. He loves you. He never leaves you. He never forsakes you. He's here today to tell you, get back up. Follow after me. Let go of the worries, the things, the distractions, whatever they may be. Come to me. Come on to me and I will give you rest, says the Lord. If ye be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affections on the things above, not on the things of this earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid in Christ and God. I love you, brothers and sisters. Um, I miss all of you. Uh, I don't know when the next live chat's going to be. We're... Wherever it's going to be, it's going to be. Um, but I can't wait to get connected. Even if it's with five years, ten years, fifteen years, doesn't matter. Where two or three are gathered, Jesus Christ is right there in the midst. Does not matter, you know. But we need each other to stay connected, uh, stay close to your brothers and sisters, stay closer to the Lord. Um, if you guys need anything, let me know. I'm here, pray, talk, whatever, whatever. Uh, Whatever you need and I can provide in Christ, I will. I love you so much. Um, stay encouraged. Don't beat yourself up. Don't let the devil condemn you. There's no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus that walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Draw close to the Lord today and he will draw close to you. If there's anything that you need to confess to him, just confess it to him. He loves you. He's right there waiting for you right now. He loves you so much, guys. He's so patient. His mercy is new every morning for us. His mercy endures forever and his grace is everlasting. Stay encouraged. Go to the well. <laughs> Get filled with the Holy Spirit today. Rivers of water overflowing in and through us, guys. The Lord is waiting for you to spend more time with him. God bless you. I love you and Jesus loves you more. Stay encouraged. Until next time. Bye.